Alrighty everyone, you have asked multiple times what pants we're wearing, what helmets we're wearing, what gloves those are, and so today we are taking a look at every single piece of gear that the Yami Noob team wears. Stick around, it's gonna be a good one. Alright guys, starting off our street section, this is my street gear. You've probably seen me wearing this in many videos. I'm going to start off head to toe here. So my helmet is this right here, the Arai XD4. It's Arai's flagship adventure modeled helmet. You see it's got the peak here, flip down visor. Uh, this is not a pin lock because I live in Texas. I don't really have to worry about cold weather, so I don't worry about it that much. It's got a removable system here. It's a little annoying because you got to unscrew it. And it also features a nice cardo system, which in fact, you'll notice that all of our street helmets have a cardo system because we never know who needs to go out on bike and who needs to talk to who and it's just a nice thing to have. Love this helmet. Moving right along, I use these 100% gloves. They're the dual sport gloves. Um, not that much padding through the hand right here because I like the ability to feel the throttle and the clutch and all the controls on my bike so I don't mind the minimal protection. My jacket right here is the Dainese Algier jacket. I really love this thing. Tons of wind through it. Feels really nice, flexible. I've got a back protector in it but it actually doesn't have that much elbow or shoulder padding because I'm pretty comfortable riding around the street without that stuff. Moving right along, I've got the Ugly Bros jeans. I get a lot of questions about my jeans on my videos because I think people like the way they look. Um, these are the Ugly Bros Kevlar ones, which I actually had to remove the Kevlar lining in them because they were just too kind of fluffy and difficult to move around. And as you can tell, I pride myself a lot on the ability to move with my gear. So I really like these pants. They're uh, abrasion resistant. Very nice piece of gear to have if you can afford it. And Rounding it out here, I've got my Alpine Stars SMXs. These are my preferred boot to wear. In fact, you're gonna see everyone here in the shop wears the SMXs except for Whitney. And uh, they're just a great boot. They're easy to put on. You get a lot of fuel through the controls and they provide a good level of protection. My other jackets over here is my Triumph jacket that I've had for damn near six years now. I got it with my first Daytona as a, uh, a free add-on for it. So this is just my cold weather jacket, my more sturdy jacket that I like to wear. And then over here, I have this AGV Sport that I've been wearing for a little bit as well. I like this one a lot. It's got a built-in back protector, lots of protection through the elbow and the shoulders here, and it's just a great jacket as well. Good perforation as well, so it's an easy summer jacket to wear. So that's my street gear. All right, guys, showing you my choice of street gear. It's actually a new entry for me. This is my Alpine Stars Chrome Sport hoodie. I bought it because I wanted something that's nice and loose on the street, flows a lot of air, is really kind of inconspicuous. You wouldn't think it's a motorcycle hoodie just by looking at it. And it looks great on my supermoto, which I'm vain, all motorcyclists are. And so I picked it up. It's got CE level one in the shoulders and elbows with some aramid backing, which is important on something that really is just cotton at the end of the day. Big back protector in here, flows a lot of air. It's so great in the summer, which we're coming up on, and you can't wear leather, speaking of which. This is my big, heavy, half a cow Willie G. Davidson limited edition Harley jacket. It actually does have Harley Davidson on the sleeve right there. This I actually got with my very first motorcycle when I bought it new at a Harley dealership. Uh, unlike the Triumph that Yam got, this did not come with a gear credit. I actually financed this. Never finance your gear ever. It's a horrible idea. Moving on, I have my A-Stars SMXs on. You heard Yam talk about those. Great boots, I love them. And then these are my Reax Tracker gloves. I actually have a perforated set at home. These are my winter ones, which are non-perf. They're black and they do have a touchscreen finger that I can't seem to get to work. I don't know why, but they're comfortable. If a little, perhaps not the greatest, uh, quality control, they're, they're fine. I have a set of Revit Fly 3s on the way, which are a awesome set of gloves. I've worn a pair of those before. Now I have two helmets on the table. My first is my Shoei RF1200. This is what I use when I vlog and when I ride in colder weather. I love how quiet this helmet is. It's really important to me to have a nice quiet slipstream helmet, which is actually why I have my Talk Slim on this one, just to keep the profile as low as possible. And I do have a pin lock in here. I don't wear uh, dark shields or transition shields because I don't like how dark they get, which is actually why I have 
sunglasses. I always ride with this polarized pair of Ray-Bans. Moving on, we have my Bell MX-9 MIPS, which is my kind of summer lightweight off-road dual sporty helmet. And it's nothing special, really. It's cheap, which is really why I bought it. You can take the visor off if you want, but not a big deal. And I don't, it's just, it's really light. That's what you want out of a dual sport helmet. So I picked this one up really cheap and it actually did come with the Transitions face shield, which I said I don't like. And to be honest, I don't, but it's a nice thing to get for like 220 bucks. What's going on everybody? Uh, my name's Josh, I work on the back end here at Yami Noob. Um, let's go through my gear real quick. So to start with my jacket, I wear the Dainese Superleggera mesh jacket. I bought it as my first jacket and I, I really like it. No frills, nothing crazy fancy, but it breathes a lot of air. Uh, I like the way it looks and it's super comfortable. I like where the reflective pieces are, yet it's still all black. For gloves, I wear Dainese gauntlets. Uh, these are Druid ST gauntlets. Um, I bought these before doing the first track day because before I just wore a, a glove that didn't cover the wrist and that's a no-no for a track day. Uh, I absolutely love these. They have this grip piece right here in the center of my palm that feels really good on a throttle. I also wear uh, Alpine Stars SMX boots, just like the rest of our crew here. And then for a lid, I have my red Shoei RF 1200. Um, you've seen this on the table. I know Spite wears it as well. This is an extraordinary helmet. Uh, I haven't had worn the 1400 that they came out with, but it's quiet, it's comfortable. Um, I had an entry level AGV before this, and this was a huge upgrade for me. So uh, I recommend spending the coin because uh, a really nice you know, helmet, five, six hundred dollars, will really uh, improve your riding comfort. Hey guys, uh, Whitney here. I've got some At Wild Light Speed gloves. I love these gloves. They're kind of fresh too. Got a nice um, padding in the palm. They also have touch screen fingertips. And then for Texas summer riding, I've got a Revit Eclipse mesh jacket. I love this jacket. It's got um, padding on the elbows, shoulder. I also have a back plate in there as well. And if it's cooler, I, I'm able to kind of fit extra layers underneath it. And then for pants, I've got uh, some really awesome At Wild Vo uh, Voyager moto pants that have removable D30 hip protectors that slide right in and knee protectors too that slide right in the bottom. That way, when you're riding for long periods of time, you can just pop these out, throw them back in your bag, which is great. And then some really nicely worn in Thurgood boots. So for my helmet, I have a Simpson Speed Bandit. Uh, it's got a nice little drop down cop visor in there. Got a cardo on the side. All right guys, talking through my track and race setup here, figured you'd like to see what I use. And my suit right here is a Tai Chi NXL 305. Kind of sounds like a graphics card name, but this is a mid-tier RS Tai Chi suit. My favorite thing about this suit is number one, how well it does in a crash. And I know that for a fact, because this is my old NXL 305 right here. Uh, this went through, I think, five different crashes. And at the, after the fifth one, I said, you know what? I think it's time to throw this one in the bin. So I got myself a fresh one literally like two weeks ago. So this one served me well for a whole year of racing, probably like 80 track days. So I think I got my money's worth, but now it's in the bin. Anyways, the NXL 305 is a fantastic suit. As you can tell, it does really well with abuse, but the best thing about it too is how flexible and comfortable this is. A big thing that I tell first time track day guys is to look for articulation in the knee. As you can tell right here, this actually has a very nice accordion leather right here, tons of articulation to the knee. That way when you're on the bike and moving around, you have a very good level of motion on the suit. Now, these gloves I'm wearing right here are the top of the line, Tai Chi gloves as well. You see all this protection right here. Uh, very, very awesome glove to wear, full gauntlet. And on the palm here, they've got kangaroo leather. Now, I'm a plant-based kind of guy, but the kangaroo leather feels real good on this glove. I cannot lie. You get lots of feel through the lever, lots of feel through the throttle, and that's really important when you're on track. Now, my boots might look familiar because guess what? It's another SMX. These are the V2s right here. As you can tell, these are my track boots because how hard I drive through the pegs on the bottom of these boots. These boots were great. They're 
perforated. The color match for the red isn't exactly correct on my suit, but when you're going fast, no one can see anyways. Now, topping it off, the crown jewel of my gear. This is my new Arai Corsair X in the limited edition Isle of Man livery. Guys, this is a big old flex of a helmet. This is the Apex Predator helmet, as Revzilla would tell you, and it is every bit as good as you think it is. I love the Corsair X. Tons of protection, tons of airflow, and I've got it with this iridescent green visor as well. Before I forget as well, one final piece of gear I wear is my back protector in my suit. I have it out here for you guys so you can see. So before I head out on track, I put this in my suit, uh, wear it between my leathers here. That way my spine is even more protected because you don't want to get a spinal injury when you're out on track. All right guys, moving along, I do have a set of dirt gear that I like to use. As some of you might know, I like going out to the motocross track every once in a while with my dirt bike. And the most important thing you can do for your dirt gear is get a sturdy set of boots. So these are my Alpine Star Tech 5s. You'll notice that these are much heavier, much beefier than your street boots or even your race boots and that's due to the impacts that you might face when you're riding on the trails or riding on a motocross track. Following along with that as well, I've got this Liat full protector here for chest and shoulders. This is a wear over system so you can just put this over. You can put a nice little uh, cool liner underneath and put this over and then put your jersey over as well. It doesn't really matter what jersey you wear. As long as you've got some pads, you'll be in good shape. Following along with that, as well I've got these Fox Racing uh, knee guards here. You always want to wear knee guards when you're out riding a dirt bike as well. You see some massive impacts to the knees. Lots of broken knees and broken legs when you're riding a motocross which is not fun. So I've got those. And then I've got here my set of 100% gloves. These are even more bare bones than the 100% I use for the street. These are literally just cloth. They have a very minor little protection over the knuckles here but otherwise these might as well just be cloth. And then my helmet is a Bell Moto 9 with the MIPS protection system and I've got these 100% goggles as well. The reason I went with the MIPS is because you want to protect yourself from concussions and massive impacts when you're riding motocross. You might not be going that fast when you're riding on a motocross track but you will sustain pretty big impacts if you do get it wrong. So this has the full MIPS system inside of it and it's a pretty snazzy looking helmet. I often feel pretty cool when I've got this thing on and I'm ripping around on my dirt bike. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's look at all the gear we wear. Remember, if you wanna check out any of this gear, hit the links down below for all of our affiliates. That's a great way to help out the channel and you can pick up the same gear that we wear and we trust to ride in. So Spike, what would you say is the most important thing when it comes to gear? The main thing that I look at is how the gear fits you because mm -hmm. if it fits baggy or if it fits too tight, it's not gonna be comfortable. And then following that, comfort is, to, can you move around easily on the bike? Can you wear it off the bike and deal look good in it because yeah. if you look good and you feel good you're gonna wear it yep. what about you what do you think is most important because we have some interesting concessions you and I yeah I think the most important thing you got to think about when you get gear is your level of personal safety that you want to accept um, there's no reason to ride around wearing a full one-piece banana you know blowout air suit or whatever all of us are gonna make certain decisions when it comes to our personal safety for example Spite doesn't wear riding jeans he always wears these Levi jeans. Yep. I always wear my Ugly Bros slide resistant pants. However, my daily jacket doesn't have elbow pads, but yours does. Yep. So, you know, when it comes to gear, your personal safety is really gonna be the thing you gotta think about. And like Spite said, make sure you go to a shop and put it on and see how it fits. It's gonna be a big thing because you might think something's gonna look good and then it doesn't feel good and then you don't ride well either. I'm thinking of gloves as well too. When you get a set of gloves, you wanna make sure the controls fit nice on your motorcycle because those are your main points of contact and you don't want your glove to be bunching up next to your throttle and causing an improper movement when you're not expecting it either. So gear is actually more important for more reasons than you might think. But that's the gear that we wear. What did you guys think? Let us know down below in the comments and we'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Between this and my desert sled, you might think I'm just some horrible biscotti boy. But really, if you click this video right over here, I will prove to you that I love more motorcycles than just Ducati biscottis. Click it and find out.